Article 100 covers several types of switches, and we're going to cover most of them. There's a couple we're not going to cover that are pretty obscure and, and really not worth covering in, in too much detail. But the first switch we're going to talk about is a general use switch. Uh, that's a switch that's rated in amperes and can interrupt its rated current at its rated voltage. Uh, it's used in general distribution and branch circuits. So here in the photograph, we have four general use switches. Next time you see a, a fuse disconnect like this, or an unfuse for that matter, uh, take a look at it and you'll notice that it's probably listed as a general use switch. The most common type of general use switch is a general use snap switch, which of course we all have uh, in our houses or apartments. That's a general use switch that can be installed in a device box or its cover or otherwise used with wiring systems recognized in the NEC. So a general use snap switch is one of these guys, right? The light switch in your bedroom is a general use snap switch. It's all covered in Article 404. So you go to 404.9, for example, it'll tell you you got a connector to an equipment ground. You go to 404.14, it's going to tell you the ratings of the general use snap switches, right? It's going to say, look, you can put a, a 15 amp switch on a 20 amp circuit as long as you don't have more than 15 amps going through it. So general use snap switch here in Article 100, nice and easy. We also have a motor circuit switch, which isn't quite as simple. A motor circuit switch is a switch that's rated in horsepower. Okay, let, let's call a timeout really fast. That's probably the most important part. If your switch does not have a horsepower rating, then it is not a motor circuit switch. All right, this switch has a horsepower rating. You might have to squint your eyes to see it, but it says one horsepower at 120 volts. So that is a motor circuit switch. It can interrupt the maximum overload current of a motor with the same horsepower rating as the switch. If it's rated one horsepower at 120 volts, a one horsepower motor at 120 volts should be about 16 amps. An overload on that motor would be 115, 125% of that motor. So that would be what, 20 amps. So this switch should be able to interrupt 20 amps, right? It's single horsepower. Single horsepower overload is about 20 amps, so this should be rated for 20 amps. But most importantly, it's got to have that horsepower rating if it's a motor circuit switch. The other type of switch that we have in the NEC is a transfer switch. And a transfer switch is a device that transfers one or more ungrounded conductor connections from one source to another. So it basically isolates the utility from a different source of power like a generator. Now, it's not just utility. It could isolate, you know, your generator from a fuel cell or wind system or, you know, some other system. But generally speaking, we're using this to isolate the utility from our backup power system. Now, why do we have a transfer switch? Well, the reason we have a transfer switch is if you didn't have a transfer switch, you're connected to the utility, and then you plugged your generator into your house and turned it on. Well, if the utility lost power and you put your generator in and turned it on, you're gonna be back feeding the utility. Remember, transformers work both ways. They'll take you know 7,200 volts and transform it down to 240. But they'll also take 240 and transform it up to 7,200 volts. So when a person installs a transformer, or I'm sorry, a generator, at their house without a transfer switch, they are really making it dangerous for our utility workers because that's backfeeding utility voltage to the utility workers that are trying to figure out where the power outage is. So a transfer switch is a very important piece of safety equipment. And that's why you have requirements for them. Uh, whether it's an emergency system, a legally required standby system, or an optional standby system. In Article 700, 701, or 702, you're gonna find that if you decide to put in one of those systems, you gotta have transfer equipment. You gotta have a transfer switch. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.